I am Anil Kumar and here is a practice question for you. You need to apply the techniques learned in using Venn diagram to find lowest common multiple and greatest common factor. The question is find LCM and GCF for 60 and 36 using Venn diagram. So that is the question. You can pause the video answer and then look into my suggestion. Here is how I will solve it. First step is to find prime factors, right? So first is find prime factors. And from prime factors, we will do the rest. So let's begin by finding prime factors of 60, okay? 60. So 60 is two times 30. In every step, try to take one factor as a prime number, it'd be easy. So two times 15, right? and 15 is 3 times 5 so we get all prime factors correct so let's circle them now they cannot be further factored that is why we say they are prime factors so these are all factors for 60 and now let us write down the factors for 36 for 36 2 times 18 18 is uh, 2 times 9 and 9 is 3 times 3, right? So now we cannot further factor. So these are all the prime numbers which when multiplied together gives you 36. Now the idea of using the Venn diagram is we will write um, factors, I should say prime factors. Let me write prime factors of both. In this circle, we will write prime factors of 36. So this is my green circle, okay? So this is what prime factors of 36. Now the idea here is whichever are common, they come in the center. So what are common? So we have two as common, right? One, two. That goes in the center. Common between 36 and 60. Okay, let me also write here that on this side we are writing prime factors of what? 60, okay? So. 2 is common, we have placed 1, 2 there, another 2 is common, okay, we'll place this also here, and then 3 is also common, fine, so we'll place this 3 here, 5 and this 3 are not common, so we'll place them in their own respective circles, 5 in 60, right, and this 3 in 36. Now it's a good time to check. If I multiply 5 with all these numbers, do I get 60? 5 times 2 is 10. 10 times 2 is 20. 20 times 3 is 60. Perfect. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 times 3 is 36. Done. So that is correct. Now we need to find LCM, lowest common multiple, and we have to find greatest common factor. You can still pause the video, write down your answer and then check with my solution. Greatest common factor comes from here. Multiply them all. So we do 2 times 2 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12. So that is our greatest common factor. I wrote it greatest common factor, right? So Okay. Lowest common multiple. Multiply all these numbers, correct? We will get the lowest common multiple. That means 5 times, 2 times, 2 times, 3 times, 3. Okay? So then you get lowest common multiple. You can use calculator, right? So let's use calculator. So you get 5 times, 2 times, 2 times, 3 times, 3 equals to 180. So lowest common multiple for us is 180, correct? So that's how you should be doing it, correct? So lowest common multiple is multiple of all these factors which are placed in the Venn diagram. And greatest common factor is when all the common factors are multiplied together, they give you the greatest common factor. So that is, in short, the way to find LCM and GCF using prime factorization and Venn diagram. I hope that helps. Thank you.